thanks for clicking on my nine week bump date. I am so excited to be sharing these with you. If you're new here, thanks so much for clicking on this video. Um, this is my personal channel. I haven't posted to it for a while, but I'm gonna be doing weekly bump dates on it. And we also have a family vlog channel where we upload pretty much daily, and I'll have that linked down in the description below. So, nine weeks pregnant, you guys. Um, I think I've decided I'm gonna go ahead and do a format of how I'm feeling physically, mentally, emotionally, and any sort of like big news regarding the pregnancy um, and preparing for this second baby. So this is my second pregnancy, if you don't know. Um, and it is going very different in a lot of ways and also very similar in some other ways. So I actually did bump weeks, bump dates, weekly bump dates with my first pregnancy with our daughter, Juniper. Um, not sure exactly when I started. I haven't even looked. I literally just haven't had time to look. Um, but if I did a nine week bump date, I'll have that linked down in the description below if you're interested to see how my first pregnancy is comparing to my second pregnancy. So let's start with physical, how I'm feeling physically. I'm actually feeling so much better this week. I am still dealing with um, nausea and fatigue but it is already getting so much better which is great because i feel like with my first pregnancy if i remember right it was definitely lasted throughout my first trimester and um, i don't feel like it got better until much later into the pregnancy and i haven't been actually sick throughout this pregnancy at all i've had a lot of nausea i've done a lot of dry heaving a lot of gagging which i mentioned in my eighth eight week eight week bump date, but I haven't actually thrown up is what I'm saying. So that is great. I know I'm super lucky in that way. And I don't know if it's just because I'm just not as sick as I was with my first pregnancy because I definitely threw up. I don't know if it's because I'm not traveling. I don't know if it's because I'm, I don't know, or maybe I'm just able to manage it better. I definitely have found different things that have helped me battle the nausea. So like in the very beginning of the pregnancy, I had to drink lemon water and I drink a lot of lemon water. So I would like cut up a fresh lemon, squeeze it into my big glass of water. And I drank that throughout the entire day. And as long as I was drinking that, I felt like my nausea was pretty much managed or manageable. Um, this, how I'm feeling right now is like, as long as I get up first thing in the morning and eat something, originally it was toast, but I've now actually switched to like a little cheese stick it's not mozzarella it's actually cheddar a cheddar cheese stick as long as i eat that first thing in the morning then i'm okay if i don't eat right in right first thing when i first wake up i'm saying like i get out of bed and i go to the fridge and i eat a cheese stick um if i don't do that i start to feel nauseous and once i get really nauseous it's a lot harder to like manage it is it's a lot easier to like prevent feeling sick than uh, to manage it when i'm already feeling sick one thing I actually didn't mention in my eight week bump day is that I have a lot of food aversion. I don't think I mentioned that. It's actually gotten better one week later, crazy enough, but it's gotten better. But originally I literally could only eat exactly what sounded good. Nothing else sounded good. And I had to like, dinner is the worst. Dinner was always the worst. Dinner is still the worst. Like right now dinner is still the worst. but. I had to like think and think and think, okay, what can I eat for dinner? What is gonna sound good? Everything sounded disgusting. If I couldn't figure out the one thing that I wanted to eat, it was like, I don't know. I don't know what I'm gonna eat. But then the longer I go without eating, the more nauseous I get. It was quite a dilemma. It still is, but it is getting better. My food cravings have actually mellowed out a lot, which is great. I am now able to eat healthier foods. <laughs> For a while there, it was not going so good. I was eating mostly carbs and not super healthy choices, but literally that was all, like I couldn't. I, I couldn't, anytime I tried to eat something that was not exactly what I craved, it was like, I'm gonna throw this up. This is so disgusting, I cannot eat this. So I just had to listen to my body and luckily it's kind of mellow right now and I can make some healthier choices and uh, just continue to do the best I can because that's all I can do. Uh, fatigue wise, I'm definitely getting my energy back, which is great. For a while, it was like a nap every single day. Um, I don't really need that. I'm not saying I wouldn't like it. Um, 
but I'm I'm doing a lot better. I have a lot more energy and I have a lot more focus. Uh, like I said, we run a daily vlog and for a while it was like, I am so tired, I cannot even pick up the camera and talk to the camera or talk about what's going on with my day. I just couldn't. I just felt like I could do nothing. I just wanted to zone out, sit on the couch, and I'm definitely feeling a lot better at that point. I have a lot more energy. I can do more things. I still feel a little bit hopeless and helpless and not 100%, but it's already so much better at just nine weeks. So I have high hopes, have high hopes that my hormones are already balancing out and I'm already getting into the clear of the happy second trimester feelings, even though I still have a month in the first trimester. I'm feeling, hopefully I'm very, very lucky and the rest of the first trimester will be okay. Things that are different, I'll move on to how I'm feeling emotionally. Things that are different besides feeling better is I am actually feeling more emotional. So it's weird because like the physical aspects of the hormones, the extra hormones in my body um, are kind of, uh, diminishing but then like emotionally I am feeling more emotional like little things will kind of make me tear up and I'll be glad I'm like oh I'm glad I'm wearing sunglasses right now in the car because this song is making me tear up um, and just like little things I'll just be thinking about simple things and I'm just like oh start to tear up I don't I don't know it's it's crazy but I'm just feeling a little bit more emotional and I actually have plans to see the new movie Dumbo <laughs> If you don't know, that's out in theaters, and I'm kind of scared to go see it because I'm afraid I'm going to like sob, like uncontrollably sob in the movie theaters. So hopefully that does not happen. Hopefully I can keep it under control and just be a normal person with like tears running down my eyes, but I'm a little afraid I'm gonna go and then control uncontrollably sob in the theaters and like have to walk out for a second. So uh, that's what I'm talking about with like extra emotional. I'm definitely extra emotional these days. And I will say I have been still a little, I think I mentioned this in my eight week bump date. Um, I've been still like a little bit more irritable. Like my patience level is definitely lower, which is something I'm really trying to manage and work on, especially because we have a toddler and I don't want to, it's just hard. I'm trying to manage my emotions and stay patient and, um, just make our, keep our home a happy, loving home. But I definitely have some outbursts that I'm not proud of. So working on that and hopefully as my uh, hormones balance out, I will feel a little bit more in control of my emotions. Mentally, so mentally how I'm feeling, I'm, I would say I'm still kind of in the same place I was at eight weeks. I'm still, processing that I'm pregnant, which is weird. It's just, it's so different from the first pregnancy. The first pregnancy just felt like it kind of took over my entire life. And I'm not like, obviously like this pregnancy is like a huge, huge thing in my life, but it's also, I have a toddler and I am, I don't know, like living <laughs> and I have responsibilities and I, it's just, I don't feel like it's my total ultimate focus and it that's just very different from my first pregnancy and I do I, it's like I'm still processing it it's still crazy to think like I feel I don't know I don't know how to explain it I think it is still early it's nine weeks um, and it's still settling in and I'm still just like wondering like how is it going to be we're gonna be a family of four how is it gonna be different um, I am getting really excited we found some really cute books we haven't actually shared with June yet, but we found some really cute books about being like a big sister and welcoming a new baby into the world. So I'm really excited to share that stuff with her and start to get her like, she's so young, but she's so smart. I think she'll catch on and she'll get it, especially as my like tummy grows bigger. Um, I think she'll kind of start to catch on and figure it out, but um, it'll be fun um, sharing those moments with her and just kind of building that anticipation with her about a new baby and we still got a ways to go but I am excited I am excited to like share those books with her and those special things with her um, also I would say one more thing mentally is that so I still feel like I'm processing it but we are gonna be taking a genetic test that my um, midwife suggested it's called I believe 
pre prequel. If you're interested, you can look it up. Um, they do a bunch of genetic testing and it's actually done through my blood. So it's not invasive at all with the baby, but they can learn a lot. I have no idea how this stuff works. I'm not a scientist, um, but they can learn a lot about the baby. And one, like her philosophy, it's not like we're a high risk or that we have any anticipations of any like genetic issues or anything or whatever. We don't anticipate any problems, but it's just her philosophy is um, right now they're offering um, funding, funding, I think that's it, financial funding or I don't know, they're offering it. So it's a pretty affordable genetic test for most people or a lot of people. And uh, she just says knowledge is power. So like the more you know, the more, I don't know. I agree with that. I like the idea of having like all that information, all the genetic information, just in case there is something or if something shows up um, and then we have that information and we can deal with it. So we are gonna be doing that. We're doing that this week actually and I should think about this. I'm kind of like ranting, but the thing I'm talking about is we're actually gonna find out if we're having a boy or a girl from this through this genetic testing. So we're finding out so early. And that I'm so excited about, but it also is kind of weird because I feel like this pregnancy hasn't even totally settled in with me. And then to be able to find out if I'm having a boy or a girl so soon, it's just like, ah, <laughs> it's just crazy to think that I'm gonna know if we're having a boy or a girl. With Juniper, with our first pregnancy, we actually waited longer because we were traveling, we were living on the road, so we were like waiting for different times and different places to do testing so that it was easier on while we were traveling. Um, so I can't remember when we did it exactly, but I know we waited longer and it was like, I don't know, I think the average is like 20 weeks or something when you get the 20 week ultrasound. <laughs> it's like, I don't know, I, it's just, I don't know how to explain this feeling. It's a uh, part of me, I, this is the conversation I literally had with Corbin, was like, okay, well let's do the genetic testing, but let's actually not find out if we're having a boy or a girl right away. <laughs> like, let's just not click on that information and let's just wait. Just because <laughs> I know I'm not gonna have the willpower to do that, but part of me is like, I need to at least wait for this to feel like, like I've been waiting for a long time, like that anticipation of waiting to find out if you're having a boy or a girl. And you're like halfway through your pregnancy and you've been like waiting and it's all settled in and you've got changes, you've got like a belly or kind of, and yeah, it's just gonna be very different. A very different pregnancy. It's crazy, it's just so different. So we'll see. Weird, random thoughts, but um, that's where I'm at mentally. Also, I do want to say um, before I wrap this up because I've been just like talking for like 15 minutes now. Um, I want to say I'm so glad at least on the last uh, bump date that there were comments, which is amazing. Super excited. I love getting to see your guys' thoughts and your feedback and um, let's I really hope we can continue to do that. If you have any thoughts or um, experience kind of related to how, how I'm feeling of like maybe the second pregnancy took a, a little bit longer to set in or uh, if you've had two kids, then leave those down in the comments below or just leave your general thoughts about, I don't know, if you think we're having a boy or a girl, <laughs> you could leave that down in the comments down below. Um, and definitely be sure to subscribe to this channel so you don't miss any bump dates and definitely go subscribe to our family vlog so you, you can see our daily adventures. And I'll see you guys next week. Thanks so much for watching. Be your feeder.